So what is the deal with the Apple Vision Pro when you are traveling, when you're out and about? That is exactly what I wanted to find out. So I put the Vision Pro to the test. I drove with the night bus, so it was very dark, it was very shaky and very tough conditions. And yeah, the outcome of my little field test, they did actually, well, come unexpected. So absolutely stay tuned, watch the video because all this goodness is coming up. And here we are already in the night bus to Taipei. By the way, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sebastian Ang, and if you're excited about VR, absolutely subscribe to this channel, yes. So let's start the travel mode. The travel mode is really important so that everything would work while you are in this moving environment. And yeah, here we go. I wanted to check out my Apple Vision Pro review, but well, we are off to a bad start. The tracking failed. It was simply too dark in this bus. You know, it's very dark, everything is moving, and no, that does not work at all. So that was not a great start at all. So what to do in this moment? Well, turn on the light. Yeah, the reading light of the bus. Here are my hands, and now, now as you can tell, okay, it did say it's low light, but from this moment on, it worked like a charm. So. For you to know, if you want to try the Apple Vision Pro, at least you need a bit of light so that the device can see your hands. And yeah, all the things now perfectly there in place. I could use hand tracking. I could have written more of that Apple Vision Pro review and it would have been better to have a keyboard with me, like a little keyboard much better than using the virtual one. So that's something that I'm going to do next time. Also, what I love, to do obviously is um, to open more than one browser window. So here, Twitter works fantastically. Next thing, I wanted to try to play a game. And here we are, cut the rope. I must tell you, playing games on a tablet while the bus drives, it doesn't work for me. I will get sick very easily. Same thing with reading. So here, I was trying cut the rope and putting it out there it was actually much better than playing it on a tablet. So I didn't feel sick at all. And it was actually a very nice experience. And it was perfectly there, stuck into my view, and I could enjoy it. And it was even much bigger than playing it on a tablet. So playing games here in this kind of um, yeah Vision Pro mode works amazingly well. Next, I want to check out watching movies. So I wanted to check out Netflix. As you know, there's no Netflix app, but you can simply go to netflix.com in the browser and then watch it there. Obviously, you could also watch Disney Plus and all these things, but I wanted to use Netflix to check it out. And yeah, that works. That works really well. So no problems at all. And yeah, I did have mobile wireless there in the bus. That helped, of course. Yep, so they were great. I could, of course, also change the size of it. It was perfectly stable and it was a great experience to watch the movie. Next, I want to, to read. So what to do? Download the Kindle app. And yeah, that's really the good thing about the Vision Pro. There's all these apps, all these iPad apps. You can simply download them and then run them. So Kindle, here we go. And I was reading Alvin Wang Graylin's our next reality, a fantastic book. And you have probably watched my my interview with Alvin. And reading a book in the Vision Pro, it works so well. So again, I cannot read books while in the bus normally. I will feel sick looking down and I'll feel too tired to hold it in front of me. But here it worked really nicely. So next I tried to put on one of those environments here like this one just to see how it works. And yeah, obviously it worked well, but what did not work well, I felt so sick while in this virtual environment because moving in that bus, my body felt it's wrong. Like I, I was not standing on, on that mountain, right? I was moving. So that's why I felt sick very, very quickly in that mode and I had to dial it back down. So I dialed it back so I could see 
the bus again. And actually, I had to dial it completely down to completely see the bus. And only then could I enjoy the reading experience. And that worked very, very well. So yes, you can read books in the Vision Pro. And it is really fun. And simply, you can use the app just like you would on an iPad. So you can simply swipe to go to the next page like this. Yeah, and it's just a cool feeling. You know, you don't have to hold up an iPad. It's just floating in front of you, super stable, and you can swipe like you do. All right, then, of course, it's too boring just to read a book, right? I need some more entertainment. So again, here we come, X. <laughs> so simply put another browser window there next to the book. And I want to read what Nima has to say. Greetings to Nima. <laughs> yeah, right. So very cool. Simply loved it. So what did it next? Yeah, I thought like, why not also do some WhatsApp chatting with my wife, for example. So WhatsApp is not there. So I was downloading something else called dual WhatsApp, where you can even put in uh, more um, accounts. So simply downloaded that, got it working. And yeah, here we go. I could simply let my wife know that I'm looking forward to see her later. And that worked fine as well. So um, it's so good, right? I could read the book. I could use Twitter. I could watch a movie. I can chat with WhatsApp. I can really have an amazing time in the Vision Pro while in that night bus to Taipei. So I was not expecting this at all. I thought it would be strange and it wouldn't work well, but no, I was wrong. It worked so well. It worked so, so well and it was really, really something good. And I was not even feeling strange to wear the headset. <clears throat> Nobody cared about it. Nobody cared about it. And I didn't feel bad at all like donning that headset. Yeah, very cool. And there I was back in Taipei. Yes. <laughs> so very nice experiment. All thumbs up. I am going to do that again. Okay, so I will take this with me also on other travels in the bus. Yes, train I'm going to do next. And then I'm also going to try this actually in a plane. Yeah, because this is looking good, as you know, and I didn't really feel ashamed or strange to wear it. I believe this is going to be quite normal to don this. Actually, right now, I don't think it's so special. It's just a thing that I'm going to use, not because it's Apple at all, also nice. No, because actually it is useful and it was a great experience and I didn't expect it to be so good. Very nice. All right, that's everything that I got for this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed to MRTV, absolutely do that now. And yeah, if you don't want to miss any of our upcoming videos, click on the bell button, yes. And if you want to chat with me and the community, do that on the MRTV Discord server. The link down in the description of this video. And now I want to want to hear. <laughs> and now I want to hear from you. Do you use your Vision Pro in the public, like in the bus or wherever? Do let me know in the comment section. That is everything for this video. I'm looking forward to see you in the next one. Until then, bye bye.